What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Great X Gaming. I am Jax, and we are back with the Norwood Suite. When we last left off, we had just gotten a locker key. So we're gonna go do that. What locker was it? Uh, 18. Which is... here. Oh. Oh, oh. Norwood Humburg hat. Uh, um. Oh, neat. Security override switch. Awesome. All right. Off we go. Wait, there was downstairs too. What's downstairs? Oh, I can see the dance party. Locked. Oh, that is disorienting, the moving wall. Hey, oh, okay. Hey. I've got the music book for those guys. Which is good. Hey, bros, where are you? There you are. Is that what I think it is? There you go. I'm gonna have to get this off your hands and learn it. Stranger, you seem cool enough. Why don't you come party in our room 211? All right. Party in room 211. All right. Let's go. Whoa. Stop messing around with the Norwood's old sound system. Gifts have been clanging non-stop since Clement's system on getting it working. Since I know how much you like prices, I'll have a special reward for your next mixer. To access it, you'll need to mix the music to levels that I prefer. Okay, but I don't know what she prefers. Of course it is. No words, eyeball necklace. And the basement blue door key. It's okay, buddy. Here's your music back. Go on, dude. Party. Woof. Let's go back to the basement now that we've got the key, key to the blue door. Where are we going? What are we doing? Let's find out. Wait, where did the basement door again? I forgot where the basement was. There it is. Wait. Oh, right. The blue door. Oh. Uh. Um. What the fuck? That's weird. All right, what do we got? We've got a bunch of clothes. Oh, that's what I meant to do. I meant to go and check if there was a secret uh, hidden in the room with the uh, 206 with the dog, the giant dog.
because all the other rooms had a secret, like, painting switch. Aha! Did. Later, puppy. That's the same guy we saw before when Norwood was in some kind of vial. What, cow? What the fuck? This dude was very clearly a little bit crazy. Grab it. Oh, hello. Mastering Zoe. Um, hi! We meet again. Telling me about his piano skills on the piano stand in the theater, but Jeremy's the real virtuoso, and Dave, Dave's just in our band to look good. He's the face. Alright, uh, we're in the middle of our tour right now, our longest one. So many dates. We're gonna play this festival in two days down by the water. A music festival? Actually, it's more of a food festival. People buy and sell cheese and jam and other assorted produce. We're providing an evolving ethnic electronic soundscape to all that. Okay, playing at a farmer's market. Is that... Company closed Rocco's. Okay. Yeah, so they're crappy. Club, by the way, which violated military... Okay, they shut down a club. Yep, okay. Okay, I, I don't... I cannot care enough. I mean, I cannot care at all. It's... They're bitching about something hap... Okay, you! Fuck! Mastering Zoe. There you go. Exactly what I need, stranger. Glance through the prologue, Bruce. You might be me yet. Yeah, normally I'd erase my ID, but given how things are at the hotel right now... Take this! A key to my personal closet in room 308. Nice! All right, I'll bring you your jar of pickles. You fucking weirdo. Locked. 310, okay, there's 308. Okay, so, just to recap, we are gathering a shit ton of weird stuff for various people while we are uh, trying to find the pieces we need for a costume to get into the basement to give the DJ this uh, CD. Well, okay. Turtle button. The turtle button did nothing. I've been lied to. Uh, phone nut now. I'm busy trying to figure out what the turtle button does. Um. Okay, I'll leave it on green. What does it do? Oh, wait. Cage override. Oh! I let a turtle out. Okay. Sure. Not sure what that does, but okay. Another one. Oh, yeah, he definitely seems tem temperamental, to say the least. And it comes out in the kitchen, which makes sense given that it was the chef's room. All right. Let's see if the concierge has any tips now, because I don't think I, I think I don't think, yeah, I don't have anything else I can just hand over to people. So, I know I need to get a record needle. 
But uh, where the fuck I find that? Who knows? Should provide answers. Room 204. Costume. Costume mannequin in 316. Computer monitors. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so you're just telling me to go do that now. Well, let's go check the room monitor to see if I uh, have any uh, m paintings left. Opened. 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 Costume mannequin. Okay. So, it, it looks like I have to go to the theater and play the piano. Where is piano button? This way is piano. Wait, what? What did you do? The third line I had to stop. See that melody over on the piano stand? That's the tune I should have played. Nice and easy. Maybe you could try playing it yourself. Oh, okay. Duh. One, two, three, and uh, no. One. I did it. Huh. What? Hello? Oh, hello, stranger. Don't mind me. I see you're moving in new and unexpected directions. You and I both, stranger. It appears you need a costume for the club, huh? DJ Bogart is notoriously picky about who he lets into the party. You'll need to do a thorough job of crafting a good outfit. Most of the guests, whether they realize it or not, can guide you toward what you seek. As for you, this picture will lay it out. Okay. Formal shirt, got it. Mask. All that's left is a mask. Okay, so I need to find a mask, which I believe is the last item, and I need to find a record needle. Oh, oh dear. The game didn't go so well. Okay, uh, hopefully you'll give me some tips on where to find a record needle. Answers. Made it into your room, and the people you've met. That piano teacher in the theater, what a shame. She needs a record needle to proceed with her listening party. I know for sure, kept it in his room, but considering it's off limits. Ow! Okay, so in his room, the room I just came from. God damn it. I like that he knows I went into the Norwood suite and his answer is eh. Someone's sawing wood.
sorry about that. There is a really loud truck outside. Peter, I hope you are well. I know our correspondence has been somewhat sporadic over the past several years, but I felt it was timely that I send you this note. Once again, I find myself recovering from a long-term bout of tendonitis. I keep wanting to hide your etude book in a vault and throw away the key, but something about it keeps on coming back, even as it twists my hands into shape so I won't recover from for months. Anyway, the real reason I'm writing is in regards to my partner. Her name is Muriel, a great vibraphonist. She's a true musician and would have been a great fit for your ensemble. She wanted me to give you this record attached to this note. It's her interpretation of your Norwood Suite in F minor. She had to it pressed, especially for you, so she tells me. Consider this a gift from both of us. We hope you enjoy it. Gabe D. Okay, so that's closed too. Where's the record player then? Peter, I hope you this letter finds you well. I've tried reaching out to you by telephone, but your old number no longer works, so thanks in advance for fielding this. You may recall giving me a rough sketch of your bathtub menu at about 10 years ago when I visited you at your estate. Ah, memories. The piece was either handwritten by you or copied by Hans, I can't recall, but there's been interest in it from a prominent sheet music collector. Normally I wouldn't let go of something like this go, but he's offering a decent amount of money and I could just I could use it at this time. I just need a signed letter from you verifying that you did actually give me the bathtub menu at back in July 1968. You can respond on the return address of this letter. I hope you're well. Do you know of any shows planned? If so, let me know if there's room on the guest list. Peter, I wanted to thank you again for having me at your estate this week. Getting to immerse myself alongside your ensemble was a real treat. That crowd on Sunday? Unbelievable. Back in the city, it just isn't quite the same. But I am trying to put together my own ensemble in your honor. Very inspiring. Gabe D. P.S. Can you schedule our next lesson an hour later than usual? Roommate let drama again. Cows. There it is. Excellent. Now let's go give it to the person. Nyum. I wish and down we go all right so I believe we are almost on our way to getting to the basement which is exciting Boo. let's load it into the cartridge very exciting let's rotate the needle here we go from couldn't sell it to be fast enough. The label just says Norwood Suite, written in marker. A test pressing, perhaps? A few bags kind of left another copy in the trunk of my car. Thank you. To the trunk of her car! Whoosh. Uh, okay. God, the design of this game, that is pretty. That is really pretty. Like, it's not this most, like, high graphics game, but it's still- Bro! You! The modulo. Okay. Nope. 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 Aha. This is the right one. Oh, come on, up. Mask. 
Get, give me the mask. Norwood's face mask. Elevator still out of service. So we have to walk back up. Boop, boop. Okay. I think we are about ready to get our costume together. All right, I thought I was gonna end this here, but um, I think we are getting close to the end. So, uh, let's let's just keep it going. God, this is so cool. I'm so excited to see what happens next. And the stairs are so hard. Is that a candelabra full of? Candles, okay, not cheese. Uh, it's chandelier, not a candelabra. A monocle and a fake beard. Fuck. All right, so we're not. So I'm gonna leave this episode off here. If you like the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. If you wanna buy me a coffee, the link's down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Later, y'all.